guys, welcome back to another Star Wars figure review. Uh, next up, I'll be continuing with my Power of the Force 2 20th anniversary reviews, and we'll be looking at Ponda Babe from the later online, which is in from 1997. So, before we look at Ponda Babe, we'll take a look at the packaging that he comes in. As you can see, it's one of those European releases, so everything's in different languages, including the Star Wars name itself. And you got the still the ponder on which says with blaster pistol and rifle. You come on the back, you've got the same still again for Mos Eisley Cantina and his profile. He says he's smuggler and pirate and his weapon of choice is a blaster pistol, etc. And then it's all repeated in like Spanish, French, and Italian, etc. And then there's the other figures available in the wave. That, that were at, at the time, including the Boba Fett and the Emperor and all that. Yeah, I like the same place, same as what I said. My Luke Skywalker review about this for me from the from the sort of a retro shop in Newcastle with a cell where the guy sells figures from from like Power of the Force Two, the Revenge of the Sith collection, Saga collection, two thousand six. Uh, all up to the vintage collection, so it's quite a decent buy in there. So now we'll look at the figure. Now, despite being an older figure, I think Kenny or Hasbro, or whatever it is, did a, did quite a good job at making this. So, as I said again, in my look, there's a certain the arms are sort of put into a certain stance, unlike the Mission Series figures of today, and you. As it says, included a blaster rifle. Or bla yeah, a rifle. But that looks more like a. That looks more like a rocket launcher, really, in my opinion. But it's not too, it's not too bad. And there's his pistol. There we go. So, uh, for those of you who don't know who Ponda Baba is, it's, he's the guy that. Uh, sort of growls at Luke in the cantina and then he's followed by his so it says his buddy behind him or his uh, partner Dr. Evazan who tells him he doesn't like you that guy so and this facial sculpt for Ponder I think was done pretty well uh, let's look at that the anus like look from his cheeks which always cracks me up a bit there but I think that the actual face itself and all that is really good uh, the coat looks like it would be removable but except the shoulders are kind of kind of cover it which prevent it being taken off it's overall a really 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 good figure from the time uh, the articulation includes a swivel neck, swivel shoulders, swivel waist, and swivel hips. So it's a bit better than the mission series in terms of articulation. But altogether, I think this is just brilliant, this figure, to depict the scene from A New Hope. And. I'm enjoying so I hope you enjoyed looking at Ponda Baba and I shall continue my next review with I think might be Tarkin from the collection as well. I'll see you then.